The iPad is super easy to use. So how could there be any safety issues, right? Well, here's one. Have you ever heard of IPS? That is iPad Preoccupation Syndrome? Let's face it. Pilots get sucked into interaction with their iPad, and it doesn't matter if you're a pro pilot or a GA pilot. This is the same situation we saw when glass cockpits were first introduced to general aviation. Pilots spent all their time looking inside the cockpit rather than outside. Use common sense. If you're at a low altitude over the water, don't look at your iPad. Same thing. If you're taxing and forgot to bring up the taxi diagram, stop the aircraft, bring up your taxi diagram, and then resume your taxi. Okay, look at how easy it is even for an experienced pilot like Mossy to get sucked into his iPad. 10 seconds. 20 seconds. Coming up on 30 seconds and I just can't take it anymore. Don't let your iPad distract you. Most of all, just recognize that it takes time to learn how to use the iPad. No matter how many hours you have, when you start with an iPad, you become a novice all over again, and your scam becomes preoccupied. It's only after time that you become an expert again, and your iPad use becomes efficient. Here's a pilot who, like many other pilots, got a new iPad, ran out to the plane to see what all the hubbub is about, and in the process, busted a military Class Delta airspace. To make the matters even worse, he only noticed it as he was exiting the airspace. To quote the pilot from the report, I became lost in the iPad and the wealth of data presented and available and thus penetrated the Class D. So let's be clear, the flight deck is the last place you should be learning how to use the iPad. Pro tip number three is develop a training strategy for your iPad. Here's our recommendation. First, chair fly a typical scenario that you fly. Practice with the iPad for each phase of flight. Then, go ride along with another pilot on a trip. Use this time to really dive into how you would use the iPad while following along. And finally, you'll want to practice integrating your new iPad skills with your flying skills. So the next time you fly, move into the left seat, but take a safety pilot or instructor with you so that you can do this safely. Remember that this is a process. Don't recycle all those charts immediately. Give yourself at least 20 hours of iPad-only flying before canceling your paper chart subscriptions. Now, this next pro tip may seem really elementary, but that iPad is a seducer. So, we developed a simple technique to counteract IPS. Pro tip number four is limit yourself to three gestures on the iPad and then look up, back to your scan, or back outside. So let's show that to you. Here we are in ForeFlight, and I need to look up a flight service frequency. So, one, I choose airports. Two, I tap the frequencies tab. Three, I tap flight service. Now, that was three gestures. So I look up, and I fly the plane. And if I were to switch to JEPFD, I would one, push the home button. Two, I select the app. And three, I chose something in the app. And again, it's time to look up and fly the plane. All right, now let's see that technique in action with Mossy. One tap, two taps, three taps, and he looks up. Much better. 